Ricky Greenmall here with another makeup tutorial. Today's makeup will be looking at a fantasy makeup and my model for today is Jessica. So for today's makeup we're going to be starting off with a fantasy style makeup and at the end of the day I'm looking at creating a um, cartoon style pop arty makeup application. So for this particular makeup application I'm starting off with a, a little different in the that I'm utilizing a Wolf Brothers uh, foundation or face painting makeup and here I'm just kind of utilizing a cream color to give that page-like or paper-like quality to Jessica's skin. So as you can see I'm switching between sponges. You have to, for this particular makeup, you have to use a cellulose style sponge. You can't use the traditional um, makeup sponge because what will happen is it will pull the product off as you're trying to apply it. Uh, this is a water-based product, um, so it's great. It you know, goes on water activation, comes off easy with soap and water, but uh, to get a nice um, even coverage, you don't wanna do a streaking motion. Um, you can see that I'm kind of going through and I have a loaded brush, but I'm kind of dabbing and or patting the product into the skin. Here I'm going through with my sponge and just adding a little bit more foundation in spots that were a little thin. And now I'm going through and touching up areas like close underneath the eye. Here I'm just using a foundation brush with some product on it. Once again patting and dabbing so that I can any areas that needed some special attention like say areas underneath the eye around the nose area. Now I'm going in with just a little bit of an eyeliner, and here I'm just using a black eyeliner to help me frame Jessica's eyes. Now I'm asking Jessica to look up, and I'm going to be framing the bottom of her eye, and I'm trying to create a nice um, contour line all the way around the shape of Jessica's eye. Now I'm going through with a uh, white uh, eyeliner pencil and I'm um, framing the inside liquid or the inside um, water line to Jessica's eye. Now I'm going through with a um, hot pink fluorescent pink um, color and I'm applying the shadow to Jessica's lid. This is a liquid uh, wolf product that is going to give me uh, a nice, flat, rich pink tone. Now I'm going through and adding some lashes. I've taken um, a strip lash. I've applied a bit of glue across the strip of the lash itself. And I'm laying it right into Jessica's lash line with the assistance of some tweezers. Here I'm rep repeating the process on the opposite side. And now I'm going through with a detail brush and I'm enhancing my eyeliner look, utilizing the Wolf Black to give me a solid, crisp, liquid line. Now I'm actually cutting it in a crease um, to Jessica's lid and I'm utilizing that same liquid black to create that contour crease cut. Now I'm going in with just a white and adding a little bit of a dot of highlight to the inside eye. And now I'm taking my black liquid black and I'm sculpting out and shaping the brows. My ultimate effect for today's makeup is to do a makeup inspired by a pop art style. So I'm trying to go for this cartoony or um, I'm trying to see this graphic linear work that comes across in the application. I'm going to repeat the same process on the other side. Now I'm adding mascara to my look. So I'm starting off with the bottom lashes and just utilizing a spoolie and zigzagging some product into those bottom lashes.
And now I'm asking Jessica to look down and I'm blending her lashes into the strips, just pushing product up into the lashes. So while applying mascara, I did get a little bit of transfer of product from either my fingertip and touching the brow, but I'm just taking a Q-tip, cleaning up that area and reapplying. Now I'm just going back in with some product. Now I'm just going back in with a detail brush and some product to reapply the area that I had the transfer. Because this is a water-based product, it's fairly easy to go in and make corrections. Now I'm taking a detail brush and I'm starting to create the character effect to my makeup, bringing in a line down the nose and then across underneath the nose, starting to do a contour line that's separating the cheekbone, giving me character or shape within the chin. I'm accenting the nose. I'm giving accent to the nasal labial folds. And I'm also taking a line and giving me some edge detail around my makeup. This is going to create a mask-like appearance to Jessica's face. Here you can see I'm using a detail brush. And I'm just kind of framing out the details to Jessica's face, kind of creating a sketch-like quality. Here I'm just going in with a blue tone and creating a water drop or teardrop look. Now I'm going in with my black liner brush. I'm adding details and bringing out the line underneath Jessica's eye. And now I'm going through and highlighting or lining around the teardrop. Now I'm going in and adding some white details to those teardrops to give me a highlight. Here I'm going ahead and painting out the lips. Here I'm ut utilizing the same Wolf Brothers product in a red tone just to give me a nice bold red lip. And I'm filling in my lower lip. Now that I've painted and shaped my lips, I'm going through with my detail brush and with my black product, I'm going to go ahead and line and shape the lips. So I've added some black brush stroke lines to the lips as well as now going in and adding some white highlights. Now I'm going through and adding some counterbalance white highlights to offset some of the black linear work. So I've added a highlight across the forehead, above the cheekbones, on the chin, down the bridge of the nose. And here we have our completed makeup look in the style of a pop art makeup. It's my hope that you learned something with me today. And remember, if you believe it's possible, you can make it possible.